Hello and welcome to my walkthrough for Super Metroid 100%. Um, in this episode we are going to finish up the game. Um, and we're gonna start by doing a little bit of item collecting. Our last couple of items. So we are gonna have to... We don't have to. But I found this is to be the easiest way to get up here. Um, a shine spark. You could also uh, space jump up here. But a shine spark is the easiest one. Uh, just spark from you know from the um, the left of your ship. You should, you should be good. You should get up here without any problems. So again, we have another room with the seahorses and our last power bomb expansion. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so now for one of the, probably, maybe even the most annoying areas in, area in the game. Um, I guess I should show you where it is relative to everything else. Like up here, um, if you can get up here. Just go along this wall here and you'll find this soon enough. Um, this will take you to what is known as the gauntlet. Very, very annoying series of rooms with rising acid and a bunch of blocks that, if it didn't have the screw attack, we would have to bomb bomb those. Um, that's very annoying. Um, and our final energy tank. Energy tank. I can't pronounce that. Shoot this out and oh. That's why I want to come here uh, you know, at the end of the game, because we can just screw attack through everything. Which is just very, very nice. And this room, now we have a bunch of crumbling blocks right here. Um, on each side, like below me and to the, uh, to the left, we have uh, our last uh, missile tanks. Now, in order to get both of these, because in order to get both of these, um, you want to stand here, do, do do what I just did, and shoot out everything but like the this part right here. Stand here, so you're in the middle of these blocks that are below the blocks the block I'm standing on. So I'm in the middle. You know, I, I don't know if you can see it, but and then just jump shoot down, and you land in between like these sets of crumble blocks and you'll be able to get both of these both of these missiles at the same time rather rather than having to go back through the gauntlet one more time and in order to grab the other one but if you miss this well just you know again as, as I said just go back through the through the gauntlet and you'll get the other one too and that's what this will also take us to this area where we can find this door. Now, this door will lead us to the entrance of Torian, so it's all very convenient. Here are the statues of the four bosses. We have Kraid, he's gone. Next up is Fantoon. Bye bye, Fantoon. Then we have Dragon. And finally, Ridley. And now we just have to wait for the statue to sink into the ground. So it's a good, this is a good, uh, good, you know, a good time for practicing your, I don't know, space jump or bomb jumping or whatever. Or just being silly. There we go. Alright, now there is a, a save point right here. The Metroids in this game can be quite annoying. Um, 
Now, if they grab onto you, it's kind of hard to get them off. You can do it, but it's you know, compared to other games, it's kind of hard. Um, so I, if I, if I were to get eaten by one, I would just leave the the room instead of uh, trying to use the bo uh, try to bomb them off of me. Just saying that in case I don't get grabbed and I don't get to show it. Otherwise, it shouldn't be too hard. This one, you can just shoot through the floor I think, like that. Let's continue onwards. Alright. So for these next ones, you can actually shoot them through the, the floor again. So these side hoppers are indestructible. As far as I know, you can't kill them. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, now I'm gonna have to fight one? Oh no! Yeah, I'm not gonna do any crazy reactions. So this is our Metroid. Yeah, he's grown pretty big. And now we're dying. We're dying. Bye Samus. Bye Samus. It was nice knowing you. But wait. With one HP left. The Metroid realized that uh, it's us. It's Samus. Anyway, so I just like to open up this door and then go in here and refill our life. You can refill your missiles too if you if you want to, but we we refill that ship. We should be good. Just space jump through all this. Shoot the Eidor, the last one in the game, and our last save point. Now, if you do save here, uh, I don't think you can get back up to the like overworld. So just keep that in mind if you have a file that you want to continue playing on, like just mess around in the, in the overworld. You shouldn't save here. Uh, Mother Brain shouldn't be too hard. Just use missiles to take these sabotides out. Ow. Stupid Rinkus. Ow. Oh, come on. And here we are. So, phase one, just. I don't know. I just. I don't even care about, you know, not taking hits. Just get in as many missiles as you can. You can switch to super missiles. Um, we're not going to be using uh, super missiles on Mother Brain. We could, but it's much more e it's much easier to uh, use the charge beam. So 20 shots. That's all it takes. I, I didn't count, but... As I said, it's, I, I don't even bother really dodging most of this stuff, because... We have so much health anyway. And we need to lose some anyway. Um, well, we don't have to, but... To speed this fight up a little, we could. So I'm just gonna take some delivered damage. You don't have to, but it's just to speed up this little process here. No! Oh, we can't get up. 
We're so hurt. You could try, but nothing's gonna happen. And we're dead. Or are we? Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah, this... You can't do anything here. You just have to watch this cutscene. So, the Metroid... Well, well, it appears that it killed Mother Brain. And now it's bringing us back to life, or it's giving back our energy. I, I don't really know what's going on. Oh no, she came back to life. Oh my god. It's a pretty epic scene though. I've just I've seen this um this cutscene way too many times. And there, the baby. The baby is dead. Not the baby. But we get our revenge. With the rainbow beam! Or the hyper beam, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, I think it is a hyper beam. I'm not sure though. So again, I just don't really care. Just lay the damage. She will get off some attacks, usually, but... You know, nothing. You need to worry about. At this point you already won, so... Yay! And now we have to escape. Three minutes. Um, okay. You have plenty of time to escape. So, here we can just, if we get a running start, and yeah, yeah, we can charge up to Shine Spark and we can skip some of this room. And it oh my god, what the heck was that? In this one I just like to shoot and then jump to kill these guys that are on this wall, because they sometimes cause troubles. Uh, and then just run. Shoot to kill that guy there. And now let's just a bit of platforming. Yeah, the, the hard part about this is that, you know, the screen is shaking and it's like exploding. It, like there's like explosions everywhere. So it's kind of hard to see. So I'm not gonna do the shine spark. I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way. Oh no, no, no. It's okay. Ugh. These small jumps. There we, there we go. Now I am going to save the animals. Even though I usually kill them. I'm gonna save them this time. Oh, come on. So if you go down here, to where the uh, bomb Teresa was, we can find our animal friends that help us uh, find out about wall jumping and uh, shine sparking. So shoot out this section and you can just leave. You've officially saved them now, so... And we're gonna get see our pixels later. You know, that indicates that we saved them. There we go. Run, Samus, run! And there we go, we just beat the game! Yay! So that was Super Metroid. Uh, my personal favorite game of all time. So, anyway. We watch from a distance as uh, 
Seep explodes. Very, very dramatic. And there is our ship. We got off in time. And there goes the animals. So our time is... 1 hour and 55 minutes. Now the in-game timer... Um, the way it works is that it, it, it only records time... Um, I guess when you have control over your character. Um, so when you pick up an item and listen to the item fanfare, or when you go, you know, go through a screen transition, um, the clock, in-game clock stops. Also, I think when you use elevators, and um, when you're in your pause menus, um, the time stops. So. In real time, this uh, this would have taken much longer, like maybe I don't know, almost three hours, I think. But so that Super Metroid, and my first walkthrough, when I do commentary, I'm not the best at it, but uh, it's my it's my first time doing anything like this, so uh, I I want to do more games, but uh, at the moment, all I have is my Super Famicom, so all the games are in Japanese. Um, so I, I don't know, I can't do anything too story heavy because, uh, because for obvious reasons. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know I would like to do another Link to the Past walkthrough um, with commentary. I'm thinking like Mega Man X. Or something like that. I'm not. I'm not sure, but uh, I definitely want to continue doing this. So, yeah. Um, we have to wait until the end of the credits to see if we got a hundred percent or not. If I don't get it, then no, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, and I'll probably re probably I will redo this. Uh, this walkthrough sometime in the future when I'm better at what I'm doing and uh, I'm probably gonna do other other kinds of you know playthroughs Super Metroid playthroughs because I, I play this game a lot and you know I'm I'm into the whole sequence breaking thing and sort of speed thing so I guess I could share some of that stuff um, we'll see we'll see what I come up with Anyway, so what is our final percentage? It's a hundred percent. We're good. We're good. It's not a ninety-nine percent playthrough. Yes. All right. So uh, thanks to anybody who's watching this. Um, hope you enjoyed and hope it helped helped anyone um, so yeah I'll be back with uh, something else bye